Welcome back to SchoolNet. In this video, we will discuss how to create assessment items that can be used when creating formative assessments in SchoolNet. Let's get started. Remember, to access SchoolNet, you need to enter in through Google Drive. Click on Google Apps in the upper right-hand corner. Scroll down. Locate Pearson SchoolNet and click to open. Before a teacher can create an assessment in SchoolNet, he or she must first create an item bank of assessment items. This is an easy process in SchoolNet. To begin, expand Assessments on your left tab. Scroll down and locate Items, Rubrics, and Passages, and click on Create. There are many different types of questions that you can create, but for today's demonstration purposes, we will choose a multiple choice item. We'll need to start by defining the item subject, grade, and standards. For this video, we will create a third grade math question. I'll start by choosing mathematics as my subject. My low and high grade will be set to third grade. And then I need to select my standard. Click Select Standard Alignment. We'll want to change this from Maryland Mathematics to the NGA Center CCSSO Mathematics 2010. Locate your standard from the list below. If you need to, expand the standards by clicking the gray arrow to the left. Simply click on the standard and click Save and Close. Next we will need to add our question content. It can be added in the text box that is provided. Notice that you have an editor that allows you to do many things, including bold, italics, underline, add subscript and superscript, change how the font appears. On the second row, some of these may not be as familiar. If you hover over any item, it will show you what it does. If you need to insert a special character, please note that you do have that option located here. If you need to add an equation, you do have an equation editor located here. Add your question using the equation editor. When you're ready and have completed it, simply click Save and it will add the question here. Please note that you can also add pictures or images, you can insert media, and you can also add tables. Add your potential answers for your students to select from at the bottom. To indicate the correct answer, put a check mark in the box to the left of the answer. Notice that the points are located in the column to the right. If for this question, the correct answer gets one point. The incorrect questions get zero points. This can be changed to match your grading policy. If you need to add an additional choice, you can click on that here. If you would like to change the layout of your answers, you can do that here. Our standard alignment is located here. We selected that at the top of the screen. If you're going to allow your students to use tools and manipulatives, they can be selected here. Simply click the blue down arrow and you can add a calculator, a Desmos calculator, a ruler, or a tool. For this question, we're not going to select any and I'll leave it at none selected. If you'd like to upload a reference sheet, it can be done here, and any special teacher instructions can be added here. To preview your question, simply click on the down arrow next to preview and decide if you want to preview it with or without text-to-speech. For demonstration purposes, I will choose with text-to-speech. It may take a moment to generate your question. Please be patient. 
This is what your student will see when they take your assessment. The text-to-speech button is located on the right-hand side. When you are done previewing, simply click the red X in the upper left-hand corner. If you're satisfied with your question, you'll click on Save to Personal Bank because at this time we do not have a test bank of questions. This brings you back to the item detail page. From here, you can edit your question, copy your question, preview it, add it to a test if you have one created, or delete it. If you would like to create another question, simply click on the arrow next to Assessments to expand it and choose Create under Items, Rubrics, and Passages. For additional information on how to create different types of questions, please go back to the home page, click on Training Module 4, and select the Basics of Item Creation Quick Reference Card. This will open in a new window and it will provide you with specifics about the different types of questions that you can create, notes about them, delivery methods, and examples. We appreciate you watching this video and we'll see you next time where we'll look at how to create an assessment. Thanks for watching.